Because we say that feeling of hurt, of anger, is still in my mind. But you fail to realize in the eyes of God, and we got to learn something today about the laws of God. God says, when a man sin and he asks for forgiveness, God takes the man's sin and he remove it to the east and the west. Guess what? He throws it over here and over here can't ever get it. God chooses to take our sins when we repent and put it into the sea, his sea of forgetfulness. Not that God forgets but he choose not to bring it back up. Now how does the devil get us feeling sad? How does the devil get you feeling down and depressed and belittled? Is living by the law of this world that says you haven't paid a good enough price to be redeemed from this wicked act. You hurt those people, you need to suffer. And we do that to one another, don't we? We even do that to ourselves. I'll prove it to you. You ever make mistakes? Make, you just did something drastically, I mean, appalling? You ever notice how long it takes you to even come back to pray? It takes you a weaning out time to kind of forget what you do, kind of get climatized back with God, you know. You know, it's almost like we have to, you know, we wean ourselves back to God. You don't have to wean yourself back onto God. The Bible says the moment you ask Jesus Christ to forgive you, you are forgiven. That is the law of the Spirit. And if you live that way, the devil will not get you in condemnation. Because if he can get you in condemnation, he can get you not praying. Because I have never seen a condemned man pray in faith. You ever see somebody feeling beat up pray? You ever see a person that is beat up walk with confidence? When you do something wrong to someone, you don't come into the house and go, hey man, what's up? High five. How's everything? What's going on? No, you walk in there and you're, hey man, how you doing? And you're, you're waiting for their reaction, right? You're waiting to see how they will respond to you, right? Now, you ever notice this? If God is the one who's quick to forgive and quick to let us go, why are we holding on? And why are we allowing someone to hold us on? It's because we have not understood the law of the Spirit. Let me give you another law. Do not worry about your life. What you shall eat. What you shall put on. Don't worry. The law of this world tells us, listen, if you have no money, you in problems. If you can't pay your bills, you are nobody. And then so we find, so men now find their worth in their jobs. So tell me who you are. Well, my name is Mike. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a plumber. I'm a mechanic. That's not who you are. That's what you do. That's what you do. Well, I'm a mother. Now that's a position you have. But that's not who you are. And many people find their identity in their money in their jobs, and whatever they have succeeded in. Other people find their identity in their failures. I failed as a parent. I failed as a man. I failed as a woman. I failed in my job. I'm a failure. 